Hello! It's week two. Everything's fine. Nothing has broken. Honest, definitely not. Definitely not broken everything. Uh, yeah, week two. Here we go. Let's hop in and watch uh, one of the lower end demos. Uh, let me find a number. 215 I believe this month, this week. Here we go. So this is our slowest demo, seven minutes or so. Uh, yeah, 215 players this month. Uh, that is the seventh highest we have ever had. I've forgotten to exec config because I'm really bad at this streaming business. Professional streamer, by the way. The top 50 average roll time was 0 0.917, which is the highest for a round two ever, which is very good. That means that we've got a lot of uh, a lot of great players in the top 50. It's, you know, it's, it's that's saying we've got top 50 are great players. Yeah, there we go, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, this guy appears to be trying to kill Dez, that's very rude of him. Yeah, so, um, I can't remember what I'm doing. Does anybody know what I'm doing? Let's find the standings from the week before. So as we came into this round, Dizzy was leading. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Dizzy was leading, followed by Goblin, followed by Source, then Rogue Knight, Delta Fur, Frosty, Shinx, Woe, Freud, Tilted, Asju, Snow, Grey, Ecast, Silney, Gibbs, Ale, Ferrius, Quasar, Nature, blah, 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 the list goes on, that's the top 20. Uh... Let's take a look how things played out this week and how many things have uh, swapped around. So to start with, we unfortunately do not have an African continental champion this week. Static has not played. There is nobody from Africa. So if you've got any mates on the internet from Africa, tell them to come play. They'll get a guaranteed, guaranteed overall championship, potentially. But other than that, we do have Dez as our first... Um, That's the wrong number. Why is that the wrong number? I've picked the wrong set of numbers. Hold on. I have as well. I've picked last week's numbers. Hold up, professional streamer, professional streamer. Needs to be the correct way around. It's desynced, hasn't it? Names back to setting. Okay. Des, with that time. That's good. Cracking. We are in. Right. Legend for finishing this map, considering I couldn't even get up the stairs. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. First off, we have Dez. No, that one. Here we go. 40.67. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about the map. So, Freddy made this map. Freddy, wonderful guy, made a lot of maps. There's an ant hole in it. Uh, he has sent me a few messages about the map. So everything is designed as it were. Uh, the two things at the start that most people noticed that there's two side routes, they were not intended to be used apparently. Uh, and people figured out you could cut them quite easily. The stairs could have possibly been used with speed and he would have been fine with it if possible. The ant holes were designed not to give a super significant advantage but probably be a bit faster, um, allowing for no speed One cap. First drop should have just a few things about tweaking, but we won't go into what could have been here. 
Nice start from Des. Double mortar should have been closer though. That's one thing that he did say. He did mess up a bit with the double mortar up through the hole. Should have been closer. Uh, and the second ant hole would have then been a minor optimization, but instead people were keeping so much speed here. You'll see Des gets a free grenade here. That's going to be important. Still has eight grenades. I've not got that on. And then going this way and keeping a lot of speed coming out of there. Using that at the bottom. I need to make that bigger. Oh, I'm not in the wrong right thing. Function figure. That's great. Right, we'll go watch Des again. Right. Professional streamer, by the way. Where I put this? Somewhere. Make it bigger. It can be seen. Uh, yeah, it can go at the bottom here. There we go. Go at the bottom, but it's important. Uh, yeah. Okay, here's, so here's where the map goes. So you come out of spawn, you're going to see a lot of people running along here to get speed because it's past this blue line that the spawn starts. So you can start here and gain some speed up here. Then they're going to be coming up here and doing a 180 because you don't need to go down those two side bits. This is slick, so we're going to be slicking here. We're going to see a lot of people dropping down here, but you could go through the ant hole. Most people will drop down here, take this ramp sliding up here but potentially go up the top to the slick or there's slick skip but boom, boom land land go up here maybe and then flick it up to the top or you come all the way down go up this off of one of these three ramps depending on your spacing up and over down this hole bang off of that get as much speed as possible here's the trigger between these sort of uh, lights here that gives you the weapon the mortar uh, when you get hit, when you get the mortar, if you're still within this, when you shoot, you'll get the grenade back. That was definitely not intended. But you can get it, so uh, normally you'll get four shots. You can get five shots by doing one right here. And then most people are doing a second one somewhere around here, off this wall. Up and off here, but there was the opportunity to go up here, but we don't think we'll see that. Because you carry so much more speed coming around here, around here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Used all your grenades, your grenades get taken off of you, so use them by there. And then slide on this wall, land on here, slide all the way, take one of these ramps. And that is how we are going. So, after we've had that, we are going to go to a 39.08 from the Asia champion, Woodjizza. Uh, which one's the correct one? This is going really well. There we go. Yeah, if there was a slanted roof, or if it was closer. So here we go. Nice start. Very clean, like I was saying. We're going to come up there. Great speed there, because you're going to hit your head if you go 1700. It is possible, but a lot of people are just going for 1600. I found going for lower speed and then strafing hard was better. Not quite getting the down ramp there, but still a pretty good run. Going for the middle ramp, up and round the corner. Good speed off of that, over a thousand definitely needed. Oh, I thought it was going for the ant hole there. 1750, that's really good speed. That's brilliant speed around there. 1500 just about. And then 1900 on the exit. Nice strafe to the finish. Very, very nice. That was from Wood Jizzer. Very nice and clean. Next up, we have a strange one here. We have Mac Mac. He had some problems with the... Um, with ramp bugs, slick features, that sort of thing. Uh, only in 25th place overall, so normally would be in the top 20, but instead is your uh, Oceania champion. That's the one. I have way too many demos. Yeah. Here we go. So, expecting to see a reasonably good start from Mac. He's a good slicker. 
very nice. This is going to probably be a decent run. It was set quite early though, so it's probably going to be fairly well optimised because Mac is very good just in general. But potentially we're going to later see some more uh, routes that were developed later in the week. So yeah, a lot more speed than Woodges are kept going down there. 1850 and that's an incredible under the loop that is a very very nice route that has one grenade that you just didn't get to use and there's less than optimal finish so yeah unable to optimize it this week but still a very good run and something that's you know pretty good about seeing that this week from mac is we kind of know what to expect later on from the speeds that are really going to come out Although, we do, you know, it's probably going to be pretty close, but you'd expect the sort of efficiency of Mac to be more top 15. Um, so we're going to potentially get with Ferrius's run some better routing, but maybe slightly less efficient on the bits that are the same. Oh, I like this song. Here we go. Ferrius. F. That happens a lot. That's insane though. 1850 and still getting under. So I wonder how he's managing to do that. Very nice start. Get the double jump up the ramp, which we didn't see Mac or uh, Wood Gizette manage to get. Half the time I was getting a, a jump and half the time I was getting a ramp. Very nice speed out of there. Should get a triple hit here. Yes, really nice. 1850 at the bottom there. Off the middle ramp. Nicely round on the wall, really good. 11.50 gets two grenades off of there, doesn't go for the one at the bottom, is going to take the same route that Mac took underneath there. Going very low, really nice off the floor and a second one right before the finish. Ooh, that's interesting. So the, the best thing to do is use the grenades as early as possible because the earlier you use the grenades, uh, the more time you've got with that speed. But sometimes you get too much speed and you're unable to keep it. So it's better to use it at the end where you can just do that straight line strafe with like we saw 2200. Soup next up a 37.57 so very close. This map was really close despite being a reasonably technical map. This map was uh, incredibly close relative times. Uh, it was fairly short you know only 30 37 seconds out in this top 20. Most people hanging around the 40 second mark in this. In the sort of core. Reasonable start. Oh no, never mind. I was going to say that wasn't the best start, but yeah, that's why. Decided to restart it and yeah, getting a much better start up to the top. Able to come diagonally across, get a nice run at this. Really nice surf up there. Not surprised at that from Soup. Uh, a TF2 rocket jump player. Quite used to having fast surf sections in those maps. Going to use one there. Not going to use the second on the pads like we saw Farius doing. Going up. This was another route that we saw a lot. Really nice grenades. Has used them all. Nicely surfed and then strafes it just a little bit into the finish. Really clean. Really clean and nice to see that slight different route where you use the rockets earlier but you go higher so potentially you lose out of time. But it looked like Farius was really struggling to get all of those rockets out. Uh, for those of you who can't read that, this is Rainbow Shadow with a 0.01. A little bit faster. Not faster. Three six five six. Here we go. If I remember right, Rainbow was pretty happy with his run after he finished this. I think uh, if I've got the right run, there was definitely APB where Rainbow was very happy with it. Very nice start speed. Should be looking. Pretty quick, yeah. Lost a little bit, but not too much by getting a little ramp rather than a full double jump. Comes across nicely. Really nice mounting. Lost very little speed catching that uh, up ramp. And catches all the down ramps perfectly to get a lot. Going for the inside ramp here. 
little bit of a step up to get the uh, height down so he doesn't over jump. Very early on the grenades, really early on the grenades here. So he doesn't have this one down here, but has the same sort of speed to be coming out with anyway, which is really good. So he spent the extra time with that speed. I did an instant death and back to the start, didn't even realise that he'd uh, PB'd. But yeah, you see, using the grenades a little bit earlier, so he spends, didn't quite get to the high speeds of the 2000 units a second we saw from Super and Ferrius, but used the grenades earlier, so spent more time at the next step of speed. Pretty damn good. Bit of a jump now of point oh, uh, point 0.1, a whole point 0.1 to Silney, who's got a 37.46. And I think I've got somewhat of the flow of what's going on now. I've had a confusing start to this run. <laughs> Interesting start there, using the uh, ramp jump rather than a double jump up the side of the ramp. Be oh god, that's a beautiful mount, keeping 1450. Uh, really good, getting the same speed that uh, Soup and Rainbow got, but with one less uh, ramp, getting much higher as well. Lovely grenades, oh, that's really quick, that is really quick. Early grenade usage as well, coming around there super fast. Absolutely stunning just there. Really great run from Silney. Next up, Snow, who has just put in chat, God, I wish I knew how to use grenades. Which is worrying. One. Because <laughs> you're 0.27 faster. Uh, than that last run we just saw from Silney. So, you know. No, wall run to start, very interesting. Now, there is a bet, by the way. How many ant hot? There's a bet in the XD. Ooh, that was interesting. We're going to go back and watch the start of that in a minute. Um, there was a bet how many people do a wall run in the slick section. Morrow was just spamming different bets because we were all saying, nah, no one's going to do that. So he's just saying, here's another bet then. Here's another bet then. Like, nah, no one's going to do that. Nah, that's really nice. Not quite as much from the grenades. So yeah, probably a little bit, little bit lost on the grenades. But a really nice start. We're going to watch that start again because this is an important Boy. thing. Uchi was talking about this, but don't know if he pulled it off. And I couldn't. I had no idea how I was going to pull this off. So I hope I've got slow-mo working on my buttons yeah we've got super slow-mo and we've got half slow-mo cool so really nice jump here and then we come around this corner and we get some good speed and now watch this so we're going half speed and we're aiming i can't do a mouse we're aiming for just below the strafe hood the uh, red ramp we're going to land on that and get a down ramp to gain some speed. But we're also going to land flat with the back half of our hitbox. Okay. So watch this. We're coming in. Gaining a little bit of speed. But we're talking 18.35 as we land. Get the down ramp and gain 70 speed. And then he's going to have to come across and catch the ramp. Ooh. So you do gain a little bit of speed. But it's not huge. But crucially, I think quite a lot of people will be losing speed. Continuing. On that beautiful up ramp, keeping a lot of speed there. Going to get the double on there. I think that's going to be the last time. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, step up before drop down. The step up's interesting, JH. What do you think about that? Because I thought I don't want to get a step up. I want to go higher because that means more downward speed and more speed off of this ramp here when I'm landing. But I'm not sure how much that counteracts versus the longer time that you actually spend in the air before you hit that ramp. Maybe adding a quarter to, a, you know, 0.4 of a second. Really nice speed off of there. And yeah, a lot less speed. Bit of speed lost there on the turn. Hits that quite hard. So not the greatest set of nades, but very competent and very clean nades. 
Yeah, so that will be interesting to see if anyone else can pull that off. But we have also seen that there potentially is slick skip and stuff. Next up, we have number 15. Whoa. One. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see what people are doing uh, with that step up. Because, yeah, I was finding it worse because I could get more speed and my carrying speed through that last section was more important to me than the tiny bit of time, but I'm not sure. Right, yeah. Because it's a long time. You can definitely... You can gain 100 to 150 ups. Ooh, that's fast. No drop down, but 1850 off the slick and managing to survive it. Very fast. Coming around here. A little bit slower than snow. Gets Eats a bit of a ramp there. No step up. Good speed exiting. Going for the later one on the rocket. Nicely done. Step up there actually could be quite nice. Getting you down on the ground sooner so you've got more control. 2,000 units all the way into the finish. Very, 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 very nice there from Whoa. Shirasaki up next. Uh, I was kind of relying on Shiro to be smashing it um, with the incredible Nade. Shiro is a phenomenal rocket nades player nades especially shiro has shocked me with the world record stuff shiro has shocked me so many times uh with stuff one wall slick morrow you were i was wrong i said that nobody would be doing wall slicks uh morrow was probably correct with that one three on the down ramp beautiful doesn't quite get back on the strafe as quick not not quite in there very nice down ramp oh that's really nice as I said, very, very good with the grenades. Look at that. Absolutely maximizing speed, using a bit later to carry more speed into this finish section and finishing with almost 2,200 speed through there. Really, really, really nice from Shiro there. Yeah, Shiro shocked me so many times with nades. What else shocked me was right at the start of that. I forgot the dog's in my room and he's just fallen over. Quasar up next with a 3706 we've come half a second from 20th to 13th these times are incredibly tight on this map and considering how many different routes we've taken as well it's not been like last week where there's been some major routes it's been a lot of difference between the routes on each uh, on each run it's been a really tricky map it's been a really, really tricky map. 1850 again. So I think we're going to see that a lot of people moving around the corners. That's really fast. Two down ramps. Yeah, I think that's. we're never going to see a triple down ramp again. Nicely up. No uh, double jump. Beautiful. Two, one, one, 150 speed on there. Going the other way around this. Just to confuse me. Misses all the down ramps, unfortunately, on that end. Oh, but still an incredible speed to the finish, even without the extra down ramp. Maybe 150 from the down ramp in the end in the wiggly section. Really nice run from Quasar. Just there. Grey up next. First one into the 36s with a 36.91. One. Yeah, some phenomenal times with yeah with the um, lots of different routes. It's going to be interesting to take a look at the checkpoint data, which I will actually now pull up on the other screen. Where's the button? There we go. It's pretty consistent, to be honest. Uh, with checkpoints, even though everybody's had different different routes. It's going to be interesting when we get to the next run, Tilted, because he's got a very slow start. And then makes up for it later. So that could be interesting. Why has he got such a slow start compared to the average? Nice start there. Very nice up. Not losing too much speed. Going with the tunnel. Okay. A couple of people going with the tunnel. It was a rare choice because you don't get as much down ramp speed. 
but nicely done. Gets two great grenades just there. Sends it flying over the top. Really smooth that. One more nade. That was beautiful. Because uh, those sort of nades off the back of the floor are really difficult to do. But brilliant time there from Grey. Uh, very brilliant time. And like I say, yep, yeah, next up we've got Tilted's time. Manoa. Uh, which is a 36.67. Tied with our number 10. No, not, oh, I can't play that. Cool. That one. That went Mario being on a Mac. Giving me loads of dot files. So this one's interesting because it's got a 4 two, uh, 472 first CP. The fastest is a 441 from Freud. We've just seen Gray's run, which is pretty average, with a 448. Jeez, there's not much time difference, but then this is really slow. A 24.24 slower. Very slow first checkpoint, but then manages to bring it back. In fact, got that, yeah, to the first checkpoint. That's pretty much to his own PB, but coming faster. With 0.6 saved there. Goes on to the side route. Not many CPs to check on this map. Uh, with only four, but... Very interesting route there. That's almost a route that I sort of started with, but that's a really... Just done really cleanly. There are a few different routes coming out. Auto hopper. Toggle hopper, rather. Yeah, so an interesting start there. Just kind of got uh, got a ramp bounce rather than a double jump. So I lost a bit of speed at the start, but was able to make it up mostly in CP2 to CP3. It was really quick. And then CP3 to the finish was pretty good. Just solid, held it there. So good time from Tilted. Next up, a fan favourite. A fan favourite. Oh, it's the same time, isn't it? Uh, 67. It's weird saying this, to say this, but um, it's Dizzy in number 10. Didn't have much time to grind this week. Uh, only put about a solid hour in, he said. So, interesting. Oh, hold on, hold on, we're going to pause that because, uh... ah, so Tilted says, it seems to him that this, on the map, no matter what you do, the result's the same, there's no point rushing the first part of the map because it will still be a 22.2 to a 22.4 checkpoint 3, and then the end is what matters, and that probably is why we saw such a slow CP1 making it up in the uh, CP2 to 3, but yeah flying through yeah dizzy only got about an hour on this map apparently properly heading at it but we'll see what he can manage to do within that hour strange to see dizzy in the double digits nice start pretty good there great kept speed lost very little there 1500 i think that's the fastest we've seen so far over the top Coming down this lower route. I think it's going to depend whether people just happen to be on the right spacing. Really nice across there. Doesn't lose much on the up ramp. Hits that wall a bit hard, but that's fine. Got very good down ramp speed, so uh, only loses as much as most people are getting off of that down ramp speed. All nades used up. Strafing it into the finish. Very casual, just like Dizzy. Very casual, very clean. Very, very nice run from Dizzy. Next up, we have the fan favourite I was talking about. Dizzy's, of course, a fan favourite, but Mui, the fan favourite to Mui Nata. Didn't have much to say on the map. <laughs> Did ask him. He said, nah, ain't got anything to say. The rare left-hander. Bit of a wall strafe at the start. Not great speed, though. That's better. Nice double jump up, keeping it clean. Good slick speed, 18.20. Dizzy didn't get the extra nade. God damn. It's 
So yeah, Dizzy with no free nade. A uh, grab there. Oh, really nicely kept speed. So that. Wow! Three nades across the pads. Doesn't quite keep the speed over the top, though. Gonna come into the finish with less speed than most. But still, really good. Really good from Mui. Uh, oh, actually, I've missed the top 10 bit that I was going to do. So, we're, we're into the top 10. I should have done it with Dizzy. Thank you to everyone who played. Thank you to everyone throughout the results. From 1st to 215th, everyone who finished. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's great seeing those numbers come through for the top. The fact that this is the best top um, time for a round 2. Like, top rel time, relative time. So, people in the top 50 as close to world record as possible. Just shows like the strength and depth of Xenotic right now, which is really, really, really cool. Hopefully people keep playing after. We get more players on the regular servers if you do enjoy it. I do world record reviews as well. So there's more of this me rambling at uh, people's runs and talking about them. Except even more incomprehensible. Still got th uh, three more rounds of this though. Round three currently happening and going quite nicely. Uh, and yeah, next up we have Gibbs. Like the map, first slick part, quite difficult because you have to noob yourself down so you don't crash or over jump. Which means the ant hole not coming into play for Gibbs. Could get 1900 device, but obviously you couldn't use it because you'd hit your head. We're seeing people get 1850, which is insane. Because uh, just straight up 1600 and a crouch will hit your head. Fun map, and really like the weapons and the general vibe of the map. Yeah, let's take a look at Gibbs. 56.58 run. See how he goes. Swap over. What are the splits? So, pretty av a little bit below average. We're going to get really fast now. So, most of the people are on orange splits for the first split here until we get to source the next time to watch. Gibbs is probably pretty average. There's just a jump for the first split after that. Then runs an average split two, a pretty good split three, and uh, just a bit above average on the third split. And that's what's to be expected because this is average of the top 20, by the way. Um, Okay, coming around here. Great speed. This is what we saw Mui's sort of run. Keep more speed on the drop rather than keeping the height. Doesn't go for three nades down here. Ooh, does do the nade off the back wall. Very nicely done. Beautiful nade off the floor there. And dropping it across the finish. A really, really nice time. Yeah, so they're top, um, top 20 averages. So what I'm saying, quote-unquote, average... It's average of the top 20 that um, that, uh, that we're watching now. So that's expected for Gibbs coming in number 8 to have reasonably average sections. But no bad sections bumping him up above. Uh, yeah. Next up, Source. So the fastest CP1 was a 4-4-1. Source got a 442. 0. 0.51. There we go. So one hundred uh, one thousand well, yeah, hundredth. One hundredth of a second. I always get confused with those. One hundredth of a second slower than the fastest, which is Freud. So very nicely up here. Great speed off the slick. Really nice keeping it strafed hard. Very nice up there. Does lose a little bit more speed. We have seen 1500 off the top of there. Pretty good coming through here. Going to go to the inside ramp. So probably a step up. Yes, a step up. Again, oh, just doesn't manage to quite keep the full speed. Going with later rockets and going up top here. Pretty nice through here. Gets the down ramp just about. Flinging it to the finish. Off the ramp. 
beautifully on the slide and very well done from Source giving us all his route as usual next up Knight coming through as a rare United States champion or uh, North American champion up the top here EU on top this week with the absence of Dizzy absolutely crushing it and what did Source say? Knight didn't say anything Oh, Source said uh, it's not his favourite type of map but it was alright he just hates uh, the grenade launcher mostly because it's a weak rocket launcher inside so so i think if we see inside people are probably going for the slowdown very nice there from knight getting his free grenade with a lot of speed doesn't eat much out of that ramp and nicely taken very fast across the line he's only just going to graze that wall even probably could have just strafed hard straight across going really fast at the finish very nice spacing running it fast Next up, we have Frosty with a pretty sizable jump with a 0.17 jumping in. We are now into the top five podium places, in my opinion. I like a top five podium. Uh, Frosty's only comment was, I hated that map. Fair enough. I do see it not being Frosty's style, but it did incredibly well. We're sitting in the second place spot, pushing the speed up early in the week. <coughs> Smashing it out. Nice start. Good speed coming right over. That's quite a nice route actually to use AD's turning. Really nice up that ramp. Right over to the edge of the wall. Keeping it going. Gets the step up. Good speed. Great speed on the exit. Early off the wall, very nice, keeps good speed going high, manages to shoot himself back down. Using the grenade off of that uh, purple barrier actually, that's an interesting one. They were, that's very difficult to do because obviously you can't, like if you're using a wall, you can push into the wall and slide along it uh, and then shoot. Whereas with that, you can't actually hook onto that wall and sort of push your character into that uh, that purple thing because you'll hit the other side of it. It's a triangle So interesting to be using that Next up. Oh, I forgot to change the thing. Sorry frosty was that run there he is I think I might have pressed the button the wrong way 36 22 We have the opposite opinion of frosty all shink said was I liked that map so it was pretty 50 50 on whether people liked or hated this map and I think it's going to be the same for next week, but the opposite set of people. So here we go, see what Shinx has done. Shinx I'm pretty sure is really quite good with ramps. I'm trying to remember the runs that I've seen off of Shinx before. Really clean ramp there though. Going on the upper route, very nice. I do think it is just does your spacing allow for the, the upper route? A lot of people taking the upper route when it's a really clean set of spacing for them. And a lot of other people being completely, there's no chance you'll get the spacing. Really nice off of that ramp, like I said, good at ramps. Oh, and a nice last second grenade. That's got to be pretty close to the finish and the most direct line we've seen so far into the finish. There's your fourth place. Freud in third, your fastest uh, fastest CP1 time. So Shink's CP1 time was a 4.4.2. Frosty was a 4.4.3. Knight was a 4.4.4. So very close for the last five records uh, to this fastest CP1 time that we have from Freud. Sitting in with a 21, so only 0.01 seconds faster than uh, Shink's the one I'm coming in in a top three CP2 time a little bit lower than everyone else but we'll see why that would have been potentially coming out with slower speed from the slick or trying something different maybe the ant hole could potentially give you uh, slower time 
Comes out with a pretty good time from the slick. Uh, yeah, I can kind of see why that would be uh, a slower second time. But coming out with good speed anyway, it's only marginally slower. It, it really isn't. Isn't much compared to the rest. Uh, compared to Shinx just below. All these times are really tightly packed, so you know, what I'm saying it's well below average, it's just because it's a red number on mine, which is just percentage based. Very clean from Freud there. We'll take another look at that. Nothing too fancy, actually. Um, yeah, nothing too, too fancy. Coming in just one frame faster on the start than Shinx. 0.1 slower on the second. Very nice up ramp. A lot of shooting. Yeah, smooth up to the top there. Like I said, it's going to be that. That was nice. Keeps good speed off of there. Gets a great grenade. Two early grenades to keep a lot of speed through here. Sends that one. Very quick to get that grenade out and a bit tricky to fix it up at the end. And a very nice, uh, very nice shot. Yeah, if you want to send what it's like racing behind Freud as he's shooting the gun, just like that. Next up, we have a big jump to second place 35.7 with Delta. They were super quick nades, yeah. Super, super quick nades. Half a second. Oh, uh, shit, I didn't even notice that. Oh, no, no, I've misread me thing. No, it's half a second between F Delta and Freud that we've just seen. And then, again, for the next one, I misread my spreadsheet. We'll have a look at some Freud ones after. Here we go with Delta. Now, I've been told of a slick skip. This is a slightly slower start, but the CP2, this is the fastest. It is the fastest CP2, but a slightly slower start than we've just seen from Freud. So, what? Okay, that's what slick skip means. You're coming out with 2,000, so no wonder they're going slightly slower, because they need the entirety of the slick. That's why the ant hole never got used, because if you ping off of that at a million miles an hour, get us the slight... Tag down on the bottom. Nice wall strafe there, actually. Lovely done. Really high speed coming out of there. Using absolutely the best grenades. 2,200 and clean into the finish. Super, super, super nice there. Let's watch this in slow motion because the split times say that Goblin did the same thing. Oh, Goblin won, by the way. Uh, <laughs> spoilers. So, here, this is why it's slightly slower, I'm going to say, and it's only a little bit slower. Like, it is that 0.05, really. But you want to land right on the edge, as much slick as possible, and then fling it as hard as you can. Like, he's maxing, then boom. No head bonk, because he's not going to hit the side here. Straight off the edge, no jump. Just straight off the edge. Doesn't even need to crouch because look, you're well away. Well away from the edge. Adjust yourself up. Landing there. And how much speed? This is a... Oh, that's a beautiful mount. That's a beautiful mount. What happens at half speed? I want to see this mount here. Look at the... Boom. I mean, it's a big hit still, but... Compared to what we've seen before, like, what's he going to come out the top with? 1,500? Yeah, over 1,500. That's the fastest exit speed. Straight back on the strafe. Yeah, we had another... We had a second jump. That was the... I was wondering how slick skip... Because they, they were talking about slick skip. And I was wondering how that works. It turns out it's not skipping the slick. Let's watch this uh, up ramp. It's slipping, skipping the jump after the slick. So that's very nice. Keeping the speed down into this hole to bounce off the bottom. Good wall strafe. One off the bottom. Not going for the uh, jumps off of this pad. Yeah, us ordinary people that aren't in the top two 
A knight apparently was trying it. Source managed to get it, but didn't get a run going with it. And then 2,200. That's just insane speed into the finish. Really, really, really nice from Delta there. And it's a 0.46 uh, coming out. What did Delta say? I oh, didn't get back to me. Ourselves. Ah. I have the notes check Discord conversation with this one because I couldn't do it. What? Okay. Where's Goblin? Where's the man? There he is. Okay. So here's what Goblin said about uh, what was going on. What can I play instead? Play. Um, let's put Goblin on the screen. And who? Who's cool? Who's in chat? Uh, who, who do I want? Um, let's just randomly run. Cauldrons run. There we go. Gauldron's in chat currently. Here we go. So, Goblin. Seems like there are a lot of intended routes that I predict we won't see anyone doing the top 20. Uh, nade stack hole being too tight. The wide start, which just never made any sense to use. Um, and the second slick. Most frustrated with the mortar part. Couldn't get the extra ammo thing consistently. Yeah, some people were struggling with that. Most pe That's why we saw... Uh, who did we see? I think it was Freud. Or potentially Shinx. Just running against the wall, shooting backwards. Saw that a couple of times, actually, as well. Um, that was nice. Couldn't get the physics working offline. We'll fix that. Pretty sure the mortar route he did was far from optimal. I think the optimal one is to use a single mortar and then strafe for the first four seconds until the ramp and then use the rest. We've seen a couple of people do that, or quite a lot of people doing just two. So hitting the free grenade, of course, and then one after, which potentially is what he's talking about. Don't remember the exact route we went for, so we'll be in for a surprise as well. And uh, said, of Frezzi, uh, yeah, said of Freddy... Just a man with a passion for mapping. Can we blame a man for that? So for everybody who uh, loved or hated the map, Freddy's an absolute legend to me for making maps for years for Xenotic. Especially since he's like, we get cool maps and cool could win this. We get Ash maps, Ash could win this. Haven't seen VP play <laughs> other than just running through maps. Not great times on the current ones, but he makes maps that have really quite long spacing and definitely are built for the fastest uh yeah freddy is just an average strafer but he makes some really interesting maps and something i liked about that map was how a lot of the things worked for your average player because they were built by your average player but then it's up to the faster guys to figure out how it goes faster that's their problem just stop being so fast goblin here we go, with a 35.24, he was at one point a second and a half faster than second place. Doesn't get the slick skip there. And off he goes. This is indeed what paradise looks like. Really nice over the top. So he's the second fastest on the uh, second section, and then second, uh, third and fourth checkpoints. He is the fastest possible. Nicely done. Shooting backwards just like that. Like I said. That will be why he was uh, struggling. Uses those two grenades. And look at that. Oh that's beautiful off the back there. A lot of that was less how powerful the grenades were. But just how clean the strafing. And everything was as direct as possible and he was losing no speed after so the grenade itself wasn't giving us maximum boost but the One. everything else was so let me take a look at the splits so yeah he is slightly slower on cp1 but we know why that is because you need the better spacing uh to get this slick skip you've got to come diagonally across then you fling it 
Not quite as fast, but 0.04, so that 0.04, slower than Delta's run. Then comes around here and is 14 faster than Delta on the next bit. Nice jump up, spamming backwards. Two grenades there. Very minimal speed loss, nicely done. Good grenade there. Keeping going forwards, actually. Yeah, he got the backwards strafe as he went through. Keeping going forwards, I need to find... I, I'm trying to figure out where to slow motion that, but honestly, I, I kind of want to just press the slow motion button from the start. So we're going to have to... So this is pretty average, right? He gets the ramp up, 0.5 it. Very nice AD though, but you're coming all the way. So this is why it's slower, because you're coming all the way to get the maximum of that slick. Jump off of there, gets catches the edge there, it looks like, actually. Flying over. I mean, that's insanely difficult. Getting that uh, almost 2,000 slick speed. Comes over the top with 1599, nearly 1600 over the top. Insane speed there. Then we're going to come up to this ramp. Loses a good chunk, but it's not too bad. Gets the step up there. Keeping it low, keeping it fast. Super speed. Backward strafing. Still backward strafing. Beautiful. Let's go of his keys at just the right point. Very fast strafing. Like, um, like we've said about Dizzy before. Really fast to get back to good strafe. Beautiful floor grenade. Kind of the only place he could use it. And like we said earlier, it's better to use the grenades earlier in the run to keep the speed for longer and there you go he's nailed it he's done absolutely phenomenally beautiful work everybody congratulations goblin well done for the win just there thank you everybody who played uh i need to close that and re-download something and then we will show uh, oop, oop. Right main screen, there we go. Here's the CP time, so you can see this start just really, except for, uh, for Tilted, sticking out a little bit. Really, really straight line, nobody losing much time. Here's where it mattered, this middle section, this CP3, that's where all your variance comes in, and then the last section was kind of not a lot. But then yeah, Goblin just absolutely incredible time doing that skip and then to the next point and then just flinging it round and having a phenomenal end as well, keeping all the speed. There's CPs, there's where I've been getting all the data. Th like this is what I mean. That's considered very bad <laughs> for a CP. That you're hanging off by 0 0.31 of a second. So, yeah. And this is the grenade uh, section. This checkpoint at the end. Where's snow? So, yeah, snow. Pretty low down. Like he said, not great grenades, but really good on the other bits. Uh, that's all the data. Well, there's me other numbers. So... The other thing that we need to take a look at before we have a look at some funny things that Grace just sent me. Here's your overall for round two. Uh, and how uh, here is how it's looking after the um, after the end of the round. So you've got Goblin at the top, he's gone up one place. Delta now gone up four places. Dizzy's dropped two. Saucer's dropped one. Knight stayed the same in fifth. Shinx is up. Frosty's up. Freud's up. Tilted's up. Woe's sticking it out in tenth. Gibbs is up seven whole places. Max slash Rogue's gone down eight places. Gray's up two. Vert's gone down seven, hanging out in 22nd on that round. Snow's dropped a place, but that's not too bad. Quasar up five, Silney's sticking around. Ferrius has stayed in, has gained up into the top 20 after coming 20th last week. Rainbow and Soup are up into the top 20. Tofu threatening it. Shiro 
really threatening it with 10 places gained. Nature's down one. Asju's dropped a whole 11 places. Uh, Murray's up 48 places because he didn't really play the first map. Yeah, we've got a lot of players. We are, after that round, up to 297 players. We are now at 300 players uh, total played. At the end of that round, there are where you're running. Continents, unfortunately, no Africa. Hopefully, we'll get one filled in on that round. And that's just where the data comes from. So, yeah. That is what went on. Next up, let's uh, have a look what happens when you're in front and behind Freud. This is from Gray playing on the same server as Freud. This is just banging the shots off. It's very low audio for some reason. Let me... Oh, I haven't got... Aha! Unmute the desktop audio. There we go. I'm going to pause the music so we can hear it. Volume all the way up. Uh, you can't really hear him shooting. But you can see it. You can see it going flash, flash, flash in the distance. Let's bring out the... Bring out the other one. That's the more terrifying one, when you're just in front of the guy and he's just shooting behind you. Yeah, no wonder you screwed that up there. The guy needs to stop shooting at you. That's threatening. That's like what Mirio does to all the bots. There we go, though. Thank you very much to everyone who played. Phenomenal playing this week. Thank you to everyone who took the photo. I'll take another one this week uh, at some point. So watch out for that. It will be random timed and randomly announced. Great times. Great runs. Let's take a look at map number three. Uh, yeah, this map by VP and then remodeled by Cool in the last few minutes of everything. Put the music back on because I don't like silence in my own head. So, yeah, you come out the start here, head over this way, you've got two routes just here, most people seem to be going for this route here. Come fast round here, first checkpoint there, you can go up there, you can go up here, or you can keep it where well, we're going to go because I messed that up. You can keep it going round here, come round this corner, higher is better because you want to get as much off of that down ramp as possible. You can take the up ramp or you can come a little bit wider round the back. Come round this way seems to be the way most people are going, but this is quite tight. Or you stay on the floor, you can hit your head quite a lot here. You stay on the floor, but you've got to make it across that gap. Then bringing it round here. Take the double jump seems to be the best way. Pretty much everyone keeping it to the inside here. In fact, I haven't even checked out the outside there, really. It just seems to be just longer and not any less dangerous. You can go there or you can go here depending on speed over the top is difficult and then here you've got to land down here because if you come in at speed and you land here you are going to hit your head on the top of there and there's your finish line really difficult hard strafe map with a lot of double jumps and bounces a lot of bonking and breaking your ankles it's going to be an interesting week because I think the rel times this week are going to be incredibly low because it seems like the sort of map where uh, there wouldn't be so many different routes. Potentially people towards the end of the week start to find some better routes uh, than we currently have. Yeah, that's uh, quite, quite a normal experience, just bonking straight into everything. 
So thank you very much to everyone who played. Check out the guide if you got this far and you haven't played the game. Check out the guide that we linked in the description on the YouTube channel. Uh, check out the game. Come play with us. We're all very friendly. Everybody here is AFK. This is a race server. Please stop shooting me. <laughs> That's what I've been saying to everyone who joins um, and starts shooting people. Anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week for round three for that map. Not how blowing English for a rainbow. Thank you very much for watching. Been phenomenal. See you next week. Happy grinding.